When I speak of a poem, a white stranger asks, do you make a living at writing poems? I think of stretching five dollars to eat for the week, wearing the same clothes from three years ago, go home from temp jobs and pull out the knives of co-workers out of my back, shedding cultural imprints, not being domesticated to a chessboard of the gods, and an imaginary cat sits on my lap that I pet and call Miss Thing, not wearing the latest hairstyle and writing on scraps of paper, envelopes or paper stolen from the office, or how I turned down sex because the person did not like me being an emotional woman and doing that poetry thing and not cloned into a cultural community. I'm a wanderer who leaves no footprints or outline of my body on bed sheets because I will not be leashed and led to the water to drink and this voice is not tethered or tied to anyone, anything. I do not follow and I'm alone though verbal stones are placed on me as some judgmental act of a God that doesn't know me or strangers who cannot guard me and people with inside voice are fragmenting perspectives. Always question why am I occupying space someone else needs? Do you make a living at being a poet? I smile, not a charitable smile. Maybe it's the dark side of the tree smile. I met my beginning even though I pose as a character in others' theatrical space for reification. Someone white wants me to justify being a poet. I smiled and said, I'm not white enough, nor an academic whore and not bending over and spreading legs for acceptance from some broken down piece of meat. I'm a poet speaking from the unknown and do not need a leash, categories, or permission to be.